hello and welcome to another video this is going to be quite a short one but explaining a couple of things um, this is the the seat belt that I removed from the car this screw is going to be very important we are going to save it um, there is nothing much we are going to um, be able to use from this part other than a couple of very important things at least for me and that is this thing you can probably tell if the video is out already this is going to be um, changed swapped out for another color of the webbing and for that we need these parts over here this one over here as well because you cannot buy them separately and at the end of this pool there is another piece that we need um, let me just quick, quickly grab the webbing where is it here it is all right yes it is going to be yellow order this online and this is how it looks just a spool of webbing same width same diameter same size same same everything same everything so yeah that on the side what we need to do is make sure we keep this thing straight because if it's um, bent onto one on or other side it is going to prevent the steer the seat belt from coming out or if you just pull it out too um, too quickly so we are going to get it out of this plastic piece I think we can pull them the thing out with the help of a screwdriver like I said I am not going to be very careful with this because we are not going to use any of the other of the components because it is dangerous and you should not be doing it this is one of the pyro parts this is the other one so I am not quite sure how it works I just know that this one shoots small um, met metallic balls that wind up the seat belt really, really fast anyways now that we have this in this uh, position we can get this thing out by okay I need to think really fast I think I, I counted I counted the yeah that's what I did all right so what we are going to do let me just quickly grab a marker we are going to mark the position over here I don't know how well you can see it. there is a, a metal drum over there we mark the position over here over there and then we are going to count how many times it rotates as we pull the belt out so one circle two and then when you need to stop you just use your thumb to uh, hold on to the, the seat belt webbing so we have two and 15 and a half so 15 um, revelations 15 times around and then this is where we start seeing the pieces that we need so if I take uh, half a turn more but I need to hold it still or even a full turn so 16 exactly 16 until you can see this piece over here and this piece holds the beginning of the belt in place what we need to do now is hold this metal um, spool that we used to mark our beginning this is going to be a bit tricky because the spool is actually under spring load so it wants to go go, go back and 
of course reel the seat belt back in. We want to prevent that and, and at the same time we need a flathead screwdriver and we need to push maybe even the big one is going to work yes we need to push the seat belt web webbing through the middle of of this spool in the middle so we just need to get it to wiggle it out until we can take it with our fingers and it is like I said quite a tight process sometimes you need to push from this side as well or it just came to me you can use pliers and then just pull pull this thing out and this is the piece that goes through the webbing and keeps the webbing from going through going through the sorry I'm thinking and speaking at the same time so keeps the webbing uh, stuck to the spool and then we need to pull the webbing out there we go what I did last time is I took a your standard screwdriver pulled the webbing out now that it is now that it is out of the spool this direction so it goes from the front to the back and then in the spool we can now pull this thing out this is the part we are going to need if you don't want to manually put the spring under pressure you can just shove the shove a let me see a screwdriver in like this and it is going to stay under tension under load so next time what you need to do when you change your webbing color just put this thing through from the front to the back shove it through the, the spool and let it um, forgot the word let it come back all the way what I am going to do now because like I said we are not going to use this I would love to get back here uh, I would love to see just how many turns this pool itself has so where is our mark there it is so starting from the mark let me see if I missed a turn no, I didn't. All right, uh, I missed half a turn. So, okay, we are going to start counting from here. So, one. it's going to have more uh, turns than when we unloaded this because when we pulled it out completely or when we put it back in completely it still needs to be under tension that's why 15 we are going to go 17 so 20 I did come 21 I think yeah 21 turns when um, the spring is completely unloaded so you need to to load it in the direction of this 21 times before you can put the webbing in in case you um, let it completely so you can either use the screwdriver trick to just stop it from turning or just let it go and then turn it 21 times when you put the new one back in and the reverse procedure is going to be exactly the same we are going to use new webbing with these parts the, these things 
uh, are going to be reused of course because you cannot buy them separately so I am going to be using this part this part over here and this part as well the webbing is going to be changed but um, I'm going to take this to the tailor just like this because it is really important to know which direction all of those curves and this thing in irrelevance one to another and of course the end of it which way do they go so this is the important piece part that you need to tell to your tailor of course they are going to know just how to get this thing sewed properly so this is one webbing I am going to take the photo of this thing completely stretched out just in case the tailor forgets it or something I have a photo so we know just which way the things things need to go back in mm, I could actually disassemble this but like I said there is not much going on this is a um, pyrotechnic piece that shoots the balls that are in here to rotate I think this direction and by that they turn this thing around tightening your seat belt this thing over here is snapped it is supposed to snap I just don't know how well it was yeah a couple of gears here but I really don't know how they work this is useful useless this is useless we do need the screw and we do need the middle piece that locks the webbing into the spool this goes to trash this goes to tail I'm going to take um, other one apart right now for the comparison's sake just want to put one next to the other and see if there is any difference I don't think so so there is no left and right however I'm not sure if these pieces are oriented in the opposite direction of this piece because that makes sense because they are opposite from one another other than that they look exactly the same sitting next to each other right and the thing that I told you whilst removing this from the car you can see that this thing snapped I found it in the car and on this side it stayed completely fine which is something really peculiar okay removing this one the webbing and then we can go see our tailor i hope our tailor is swift so, 15 and a half of course I didn't count that I cannot count that fast and then just hold the tension on the webbing take the drum with your hands this is the tricky part take this thing out somehow you can either yeah oh it's not that bad okay once we got that out we can probably pull the security pin securing pin out on the side or maybe oh my goodness okay bigger flyers yes this one's nice as well then put this thing through the spool through the middle of the spool and this is maybe somewhat more difficult because the whole webbing has been strained due to impact and activation of the airbag parts of it now you need to be careful <laughs> not to get your fingers into that looks like plenty more than 21 revelation rotation revelation, whatever so yeah we have two webbings these pieces and new webbings so we are ready to hit the tailor not in a 
literal sense. All right, so I have, I don't have much to show you today, but what I do have to show you is really, really cool. So yeah, my tailor was swift as we hoped for. So we got the webbing now yellow. And that is great because I really wanted to put the yellow webbing on the new seat belt. This is the new air seat belt original from Audi. This one in my particular case is for cabriolet version of the TT, hence the microphone. But we will be replacing it with this, that there is no difference in the mechanism itself, other than, like I said, the microphone that is inserted into the webbing. So let's go do that. Didn't last much longer than it took you to watch all of it. It was really a two minute job. All you need is a couple of simple tools, which we showed, showed already when we removed the old one. And here it is, installed. I need to pull the whole thing one more, one more side completely out and completely back in so it's positioned nicely on the roll, the webbing. But if you hold it in the right way, you can pull the whole thing out. No problem whatsoever. There we go, all the way. And it is OEM in there. So all we need to do now is make sure it's back in nice and straight. There it is. It is ready to go back in the car. And I'm going to put the old bolt back in with it. And there you have it. We swapped the color of the webbing. And this goes through there, up like this, and it screws back onto the chassis of the car behind the, the driver's seat. So as you can see, it is all just the way it's supposed to be. And I'm really, really happy with the results. Of course, it's going to take some time before this thing takes its shape, but wonderful, wonderful. I'm very happy with this job and it wasn't even that hard to do. So see you in the next one. Bye.